Hey, the box is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time talking about my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you for the support. Um, knowing that, you know, my daily struggles and my mistakes and my mishaps, I can be able to be an open book and place them upon my videos to know that it's allowing people to see the things that they need to see in their life as well as, you know, pay attention to the things that are not being said or the things that's coming straight out to be seen. Um, being able to know that, you know, the things that I place in the videos can really help others, you know, really puts a kind vibe in my heart. And I'm truly grateful for to be able to do that. And, you know, these situations has really humbled me. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already waiting for like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line you know um even if it's getting to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even if it's about the positive feedback the content of my video or you're just up tell me about your empathic if and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction and also if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one family or friend or even a fellow empath going through some trying times you need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even soul purpose please go ahead and share them while you're at it give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today oh i'm gonna turn it all the way down um my uh, video, my, uh, what is it, meditation video, almost got stuck here, is called, let me see, Angelic Sleep Healing 528 Hertz. So I will go ahead and post, post that uh, link in the description box below. I don't know why the heck I'm sitting up here getting tongue-tied about stuff. Anyways, uh, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka, celebrating a Independence Day on a totally different level. And it's true, you know, I said, I'll be on conversation with my friends and stuff like that. And they'll throw me off. I'm like, oh, wow, that's going to be, you know, uh, a content for me to talk about. Because I'll be coming, y'all know I'll be coming up with some crazy metaphors, especially when it comes to, to you know, these different content titles. So just whatever comes to the spur of the moment or something that really sticks out that I said because I be saying crazy metaphors and stuff sometimes but it's like it, it's just like you know we, we celebrate our independence day for all different causes you know for you know our freedom even though I really feel like we ain't free because there's always somebody trying to control something but it's on our whole level of you know heading towards our new chapter um being able you know there are so many things that you know there there's things that we've been used to going a certain way for such a long period of time and it's just like i think about the situations to where you know um you know i was getting help out you know i was getting help from certain situations or you know somebody was always coming to save the day for me and it's just basically allowing you know the universe to you know they cutting cords on things that how we used to do things we have to be able to get used to um seeing things for what they are and you know we you know we've been getting help from the universe for so many things because there's so many times we have been in certain situations where we got aids we got um not aids like you know health aids i ain't trying to talk about you know the actual disease but aids from different things you know they supply that we needed at the time it's just like when i think about okay when i first started doing my videos i used to you know meditate and you know talk to bob i always tell talk to bob but it's just smoking you know smoking a couple of puffs of a blunt just to be able to get to my higher self and block out all these crazy thoughts that was coming in from different people's you know subconscious um you know to get where i need to get my answers from now it's just like i just do a simple prayer uh being sober uh, not drinking, not smoking any cigarettes, you know, just dealing with things head on, you know, because I always use that as a crutch. So basically, it's like us stepping into our independence to where, you know, it, it doesn't even have to be like a drug addiction, but it's just the way we're seeing things, the way we have held tight to certain things. You know, universe is pushing us out for our independence day. You know, we're going to be able to do things head on, you know, being able to see things for what they are, being able to go down that road. 
of the our path for self-discovery in a whole new different way you know being able to see like okay all these things have occurred you know what have you learned from those situations you know what what did you learn from your setbacks what did you learn from your failures and you know the the damages that has been caused in your life how did you allow the, those things to heal you are you still focusing on the negative situation? Are you progressing yourself to see the positive situations that are coming to your life? That's, you know, all the new independence things that we're doing because it's like we've been going through so many hard times back to back. You know, it's just like dealing with all these different phases that's popping up, you know, that you're needing to heal from. Seeing a lot of things that have occurred in your life that was hard to let go of. You're independently letting those things go to be able to use those as your, you know, your guide, your little compass. Those healing things has got you to where you are right now. You know, a lot of things have occurred into your life, you know, and then you're finally seeing why you had to go through this situation. Why did this occur? You know, what is this allowing me to do? Because it's like I tell y'all, anytime we're going through a spiritual awakening, which is already devastating as it is, depends on what you're going through. A lot of people have lost loved ones, lost jobs, lost homes, you know, uh, all these different things are just people just walking away from you that, you know, you call family, you call close friends. You know, you're starting to see things in a whole new different light. You don't, you don't went from 4D to 5D, and then there's times where you go back to 3D, and that mess feels uncomfortable is uncomfortable. You know, so it, it's allowing you to be able to see things in a whole new different light that makes you not want to turn back, or even if you did try to turn back because you were scared, you know, it's not universe is not gonna allow that to happen because they'll start having things pop off left and right. And I tell people, especially when I do, you know, um. My empath, you know, counseling, I call it empath counseling, anybody I do one-on-one -on -one with, you know, and they start asking me questions. I tell them I don't judge anybody. I don't, you know, only time I say something is like if you touching a kid in the wrong way or you beating the heck up out of some senior citizens, that's the only time I'm going to judge. And I really try not to judge, but it's going to have me looking at you crazy. But, you know, there's a lot of situations that I'm so blessed that people believed enough in me to where they wanted to go ahead and talk to me on the side, you know, because they didn't feel comfortable with putting that out, which I tell people I understand. Anything we talk about is 150% confidential. You know, I allow people to know, hey, this is some things that have occurred in my life. You know, I had to be able to make sure I work, you know, my certain situations out. It's like, don't sit up. You can use your situations as an example to help them understand what they're going through, what you experienced to where they might experience or what did you do to be able to get out of that situation without fully going into detail about it. Because it's like God wants to use me as a conduit. Con God wants to use me as this beacon or whatever torchbearer you know to be able to help people understand the reason why they went through things but it's like he doesn't want me going word for word for word because it's like me reliving that whole situation over again and i had to really teach myself that you can use your your past experiences as examples but don't don't torture yourself trying to help somebody else that's not good for you and then you're supposed to be leading an example so it's just all these different things that allowed me to be able to look at and i'm just like it humbled me it really did because it's like, you know, I had to keep it real. You know, I'm not going to lie to anybody because I'll be, I'm not just lying to you, I'm lying to myself. You had to be able to learn the thing I, the things I push out is the things that I need to be able to help myself as well. Because us as being empaths, we can give a lot of, you know, uh, advice towards certain things. But when it comes to us taking our own, it, you know, you're like, oh God, what do I do? And it's just like, I do this. I help people like this every day. I have to be able to help myself as well. So it, it's just like, you know, looking at my experiences and seeing all the, you know, the outcomes that has come and is yet to come is like really a blessing to me even though I went through a lot of stuff like anybody else has and things have been experienced I'm just you know opening up to be able to tell my situation because that I mean being able to tell somebody the things that you have endured like in your life and the things that has happened just because you you might be related to somebody it really took a lot for me to do that because it's like you know starting out this wasn't easy you know i had death threats i had people you know saying like are you crazy or you know the you know this is not your dad and i mean i had to go through so many different things when i first started my um channel and it's just like people telling me oh i'm not this well i'm not that when i was sent towards these certain things i wouldn't be able to know these certain things 
if universe didn't allow me to experience what I need to experience for me to follow up to where I am now. So it's just like all these different experiences that have went on in my life has really humbled and blessed me in, in a magnitude I never thought was possible. There's days I've sat here and I've cried many, many a days, did not want to get out of the bed, depressed. You know, I still go through certain moments at times, but it's not as bad as it was before because I was like a hot ass mess. <laughs> you know, there's times y'all see me and not in my best. You know, you go through my first set of videos through my first year, I really went through it. You know, a lot of people had told me I was strong for being able to project myself out in that way, you know, and it was like, I didn't know where doing these videos was going to lead me, but just being able to know that I didn't even know if my videos was going to, you know, anybody was going to listen to it or is they going to care or, you know, can they, you know, resonate with the things that I went through and just to be able to see where my consistency brought me to, you know, is has really blessed me and all the people I was been able to help not you know, I'm not totally in contact with every single person I helped but you know they were supposed to be there for that season and you know and I hope and pray that things are good for them you know even though if it might even as if even if the situation ended badly I don't wish anything on anybody you know it took me a long time to not hold grudges because it's like with me I can still hold grudges with, with you if you pissed me off before you died and I'm still gonna hold that grudge until after that but it was just like I had to go through all these different lessons to know to know that you you can forgive somebody and not be trying to rekindle a relationship with somebody just because you forgave them that doesn't mean that you have to turn around and be back friends with them or turn around and start dating them again or whatever experience you have with people you know because life is too short you know I, I had to not still carry around that anger in my heart you know it's a daily process it's not an easy thing you know especially when you have really been through something hard and there are certain things that, you know, universe and God has put in my path, you know, where I really felt it was hard to be able to forgive, you know, um, certain people that has impacted my life, life in a tragic way. You know, God allowed me to see certain people like I was I, I love watching crime daily of uh, certain things that has happened, you know, and how people the outcome is is it been and you know it's just like seeing one where this guy was delivering pizza and um he was i think he was indonesian or something like that and this black guy had killed him and the family was like they went up to the guy and he really felt bad he actually had remorse and the family had told him we don't have anger towards you we forgive you for doing what you did and i was like i was due back like what the hell he done killed your son cold blood and robbed him and he killed your son and you're not mad anymore you know i mean they took your only child away from you and i mean I, that i mean that was on a whole different level like i cried for that person those those parents because that's the worst thing a parent want to hear is you know getting a call that your your child is dead you know any kind of situation like that but i know it took a lot of strength for them not to hold that grudge against them so that allowed me to see my life you know I was, it's just like yes you know even though your father's passed you know you don't have all the answers that you know you have so many questions to but you know the situations that you're able to help others with to deal with you know not cope but just deal with you know we, we've we've you know experienced a lot of painful things and just being able to know you're going on that next chapter that new level that you know seems unfamiliar to you even though it's not you know, it's just like I told y'all before, we we planned things that we, we decided to be in before, you know, our birthright. So going through that, we already knew what we had to go through. But it's just like I said before, that that fine print, we had to be able to erase our all our memories. So we can't, we, it had to be that thing that we had to be able to go through to say, hey, you know what, this now I finally see the real reason why I had to go through this. You know, all these different experiences allowed us to be able to push out towards our independence to know we don't have to keep tagging on to the things that has affected us in a big way. We don't have to cling on to, you know, anger, sadness, you know, despair. You know, you have that independence to be happy, be humble, know that you're blessed. You know, um, a lot of things we have occurred, the long, 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 a lot of things that we have occurred in our life 
has messed us up mentally, emotionally, any kind of way it has. It, it allowed you to see things in a lot different way that you probably didn't want to see them. But it's up to you to be able to know that, yes, these things have happened to you, but they're not continuing to happen, especially if you're stopping at, at that point in time, especially if those people are no longer in your life. They can't affect you as long as you allow it. Only Things only can affect you unless you allow it. And I had to keep telling myself that you can't allow what somebody else's action does to keep affecting your daily life. Because while they're on there doing that, probably finding another victim or still trying to find different ways to get at you, you know, they're living that good life. They're living okay. You're the one who have to deal with that every single day. You know, if people are paying the prices for the things that you went through and trust and believe, when you, when God and universe allows you to see that you're stepping into your independence, you're no longer holding that grudge of despair, grudge of whatever abuse that has obtained across your life. Um, you know, you forgive, not worrying about what karma is going to happen. Because regardless, whatever you put out to the world is what you're going to get back. And there's a lot of people that have endured things as well as I um, have experienced a lot of things that you know people haven't been held accountable for but all i know is, is like that's that uh, my mind and my body and my soul just keeps telling me you you can't keep worrying about that because you know everything is going to be taken care of by the universe whatever somebody's put something on you you have to understand that god is not going to allow those certain situations to keep occurring in your life you know there somebody's going to help you, you're going to get that justice but it's just like when you're holding on to that anger, holding on to the things that, you know, has happened to you, keep pointing the finger, it's going to, you know, tell God that you're not ready to receive all these different things that you totally need closure for until you let go, until you be able to see things for what they truly are. And, you know, knowing that there are better days are coming if you just give yourself that chance to. So allow yourself to be in that independence day, you know, tomorrow's Independence Day. So it represents a lot, you know, for people, you know, not just soldiers, but us as, you know, the empathic soldiers that have endured so much. As soon as I said that, my phone lit up. So all these different things that have occurred in your life, don't allow them to keep affecting you the way they have been for so long. Because you do deserve happiness and life is too short and God forbid, hopefully this is our last time going through this and we don't have to go reincarnate again. So allow yourself to learn the lessons that you need to learn because you do not want to go through another lifetime of this. Enjoy your independence because you need to be free of all the things that has been placed on you that we need to let go of. So I hope you are able to uh, resonate with the content of this video. Uh, like and subscribe. Drop a line. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that bell. Share. And like I said, drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out. I'm going to give this shout out to uh, Michael Patson, Sassy Miss K, and Mama Shark. And I will see y'all in my next video. I hope everybody has a safe Independence Day. If y'all get this on Independence Day, I don't know because the other videos are kind of long. But um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see y'all in my next video. Uh, I might do some videos for the 4th of July. I might not. So, you know, I will see y'all on my next video. Much love. Peace.